How has middle school been different than elementary school? It's so different because it's not what you would typically have in, in elementary school. In elementary school, you have, um, like, the, the courses are more advanced. You either get into honors you know, or you get into, like, basics. But basics are fine because, you know, everybody starts somewhere. I started uh, in ELA in, like, a basic one, and then I moved up to an honors in seventh. When I was in elementary school, I went to several different elementary schools because I used to move a lot, and... Um, I met, I was only in certain elementary schools for a certain amount of times. So, I think that middle school and elementary school are different. It's the time and the schedule that you have for elementary and middle school. Those are the difference that I see. In my elementary school, we had specials, which are like electives except it's five different specials but with this you have like two um electives which are pretty fun and the classes are pretty fun but one thing i would say that's mainly different is how you get to class and your schedule for class how has attending quail hollow middle school helped develop your leadership skills Attending Kuala Middle School has developed my leadership skills because it is a leader in me school. We attend Padea seminars where we answer questions and have a good conversation without the teacher's assistance. Um, like not putting myself first all of the time, like giving other people chances and taking like the lead. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit more about maybe a time, do you have like an example of a time you took the lead on something? And like the breakout rooms, uh, when I was on like f full remote, some kids would like not talk, so I would start talking when I would be in those breakout rooms. What advice would you give a sixth grade student? Um, well, advice I'd give me when I was in sixth grade is don't be worried about if you're late to class or if the classes are too far apart because they will stay to they're usually very close to each other and another thing is turn in your work because you might think that it's going to be a, a lot of hard work and a lot of like really difficult tasks that you have to do but in reality they're easy to complete and you just need to listen in class because if you don't then the assignments will start to get hard and just pile on. I would tell them to find them a schedule to do your homework because if you get too far behind with your homework, you're just going to keep on procrastinating and you're not going to want to do your homework. So you need to find you a perfect time schedule to do your homework or find time to do your homework, um, relax, and then go to bed or have a snack or something because I, as soon as I get off of school, I have to have a break and then I start on my homework. I would tell a rising sixth grader that middle school isn't that hard and teachers understand you might be confused and not know where to go. Quahol well, Middle School is an excellent school because they purposely group your classes together to help you out. Why do you like attending Quail Hollow Middle School? I was in my middle school. It wasn't really a safe environment for me. I really didn't like it. But Kuala Hollow is made me feel a little more safe than other um, than my other middle school that I went to. I like attending Kuala Hollow Middle School because they are a leader in me school. They teach you how to be a better person and they have the best staff. Thank you. I personally like attending Kuala Hollow because one of the reasons was if I went to the other middle school, which was Community House, uh, I wouldn't have been with my friends. And if I, my friends really helped, you know, getting used to the school because I had people to talk to. But if you're, it's if it's only you going to Coil Hollow, and you don't really know anybody. It's really easy to make friends, like in your classes. You just need to like talk to the people, and then they might have the same interests as you.
you guys liked it and I made it with a lot of love. Six grade falcons. Whoa, look how far you've gone. Now you're in the sixth grade and everything's different. Guajalo Middle School is a really good school that has amazing teachers and staff. What you need to know about Guajalo is that it's amazing, it's very big, and you don't stay in one class for the whole day. Now you have four blocks plus electives. Whoa. What teachers expect about you and your friends is that you are kind, hardworking, and most important, that you give your best in everything you are asked for and that you are respectful. My words of encourage for you guys are that you give your best for every class, that you do everything you're asked for, and that you have fun and you guys make new friends and meet new teachers. So have a great year because this is going to be your first year in middle school. So when I graduated fifth grade, I was nervous and excited because I was going to a new school. I was nervous because I knew now we were going to have four blocks plus electives. And I was so nervous because everything was going to get harder, more homework, and also because I knew that I will have to make new friends and mostly terrified about was transitions. Going from first block to second block, first block to leadership. But after I got to call Harlow, my nerves went away because as I entered the school, I was like, whoa, everything was so big, so many classrooms, so many teachers, and seeing my friends was awesome. And I made new friends and it was very fun. So I hope that you have the best year of your life, have fun, don't be scared to make mistakes, and also don't be scared to ask questions. So I wish you the best luck, have fun, don't be scared, because I know everything's gonna go well.